Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy, and we got Jeremy Ford over here, my son, and we're going to do our, it was supposed to be the 500th subscriber beer, beer, uh, beer review, um, but instead it's going to be the 550th beer review because we just haven't gotten around to, to do it. So, um, 50 or so some subs later we're finally getting around to doing this um we were going to have wayne you know set in on it with us but uh wayne's been sick and under the weather and uh um we'll just have him on another review wayne's my brother by the way all that some of you that don't know who he is um he's done reviews with the, with me before um <clears throat> but uh, he'll get to do something else maybe we'll do one for the 600 subscriber i don't know but anyway, this is the uh, the Chimay. Uh, Wayne did a review with the sh the Chimay, uh, the blue the blue one. I can't remember what it was called. I want to say the Special Reserve Ale or something. Well, this one is the um, it's a the Premier Ale, Perez Trep Trepis. Um, <clears throat> brewed at. <clears throat> Scourmont Abbey and bottled by S.A. Bires de Chimay, Belgium. Um, it's a 7% ABV. Uh, this has been sitting out of the refrigerator for about, oh, about 45 minutes, I think. Something like that. Um, it says on the back, the registered Chimay, the registered trademark Trappist certifies that this ale was brewed within the walls of an existing Trappist mon monastery under the control of the Trappist community. Uh, a major part of the sales revenue is used by the monks to support charitable works. The exceptional yeast isolated by Father Theodore combined with the purity of the highly protected water of the Abbey's wells gives Chimay its unique richness since 1862. Chimay's secondary fermented ales have either have neither been pasteurized nor filtered and only natural ingredients are used to fully ap appreciate the pleasant sharpness and the light hint of bitterness of the Chimay Premier. Served slightly chilled in a wide mouth to glass. Alright. Oh, I got Jeremy's going to use this little glass because uh, he's not sure if he's going to like it. So he'll just use that one. Let's see what we got. Wow, we got some uh, um, 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 bottle vapors coming out, water vapor, whatever, <laughs> out of the mouth there a little bit. I don't know who's going to fix that hole in the ceiling, though. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's got a nice yeasty kind of um, maybe almost light fruity kind of smell, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> the head is kind of a, a mocha colored. Um, it looks really nice. It's um, it's kind of a oh not really frothy, but kind of foamy kind of a appearance on the head. It's about a little over two finger. Looks pretty nice. Carbonation looks about medium. No, actually. <laughs> It looks a little aggressive in there. 
There's some particles floating around in there, I think. Yeah, there's some particles in the bottom. Okay, let's see what we've got in the room. Hmm, that smells good. There's a little bit of a, a kind of a sour, kind of yeasty on the aroma. I mentioned yeasty. I mentioned yeasty earlier, but it almost smells like there's an adjunct in here. It's kind of malty, a little, a little dark malty kind of aroma. All right. Let's see what we got, Jeremy. It's yeasty on the on the taste. Some a little dryness. There's an adjunct kind of taste in there. A little malty. A little uh, almost has a little bit of a sweet malty kind of taste. What do you think on the taste, Jeremy? You like it? It's okay. Is it all right? It's not too bitter. For me anyways. Yeah, the bitterness is probably... It's low. You know, it's a low bitterness. Like Jeremy says, not mm -hmm. too bad. <clears throat> it's light. It... It hangs around just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but... Yeah, there's some dark malts or something um, in there. Hard to... This one's really hard to, to, to describe for me. Do I like it? It's probably um, the question that I need to answer. It's okay. It's, it's, not, it's not bad. It's not a bad beer. It's a it's a pleasant beer. <clears throat> it's different. As it warms up a little bit more, maybe I can put them in the description below. Um, it is still pretty cold, and you know when these kind of beers warm up a little bit more, you get more taste characters out of it. So, um, if anything changes, it'll be in the in the description below on the review. But hey, it's pretty good. All right, well we'll end it there. We thank you all for watching. Appreciate all my my new subscribers have just gotten recently, and all my 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 uh, older subscribers that all you know that keep supporting me. I appreciate everybody. Um, it's great that y'all hung hung in with me for all this you know this adventure here. Almost two years now I've been doing this, and uh, I've enjoyed it. Gotten to meet a lot of great people. Um, one of my other loyal um, supporter supporters. Um, subscribers John Martin sent me this hat and uh, I'm always proud to wear it for him in my reviews because I appreciate him sending it to me and it was a nice gesture that he sent it to me and uh, Tyler Man Man Mansell sent Jeremy and I some coupons for Jack in the Box and um, a little bit of, a little bit of money to get some beers to eat with it you know um, I've had other subscribers send me things and done some trading here and there, and I've always appreciated that. Um, Patrick Tucker, done a good good beer swap with him, and and uh, Flacco was it was a little it was a little rocky, but we made it, we made it work. Um, yeah, Special K and the guys haven't had a whole lot of trading. Joe Sticks. Um, if I'm missing anybody or not, can't remember. 
All right, 10 minutes. We're 10 minutes in. All right, we'll end it there. Thank you again, everybody. Appreciate it. Y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, let us know if you've tried this. See you on the next one.